Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are doing like a homemaking style video, but it's gonna have a lot of focus on getting ready for summer because this week, for us at least, school is going to be out for the summer, meaning everybody's home all the time. And while we love, absolutely love the laid back vibe of summer and just having the kids home all the time, it definitely has its own trials. And so I was sitting there thinking, what are the trials and struggles that come with summer and everyone being home? I really just kind of took some time to think about it and I came up with three different things. And the three things that it comes down to is boredom, food, and routines. So I am putting a few things in place today to help combat those struggles and just help us keep our sanity this summer and just only enjoy the good things and not kind of feel the stress of those other issues. So I have some mom hacks, I have lots of good tips, I have lots of really thought out ideas and I think they're going to be really helpful. So I hope that this video can help you. If it does, definitely share it with a friend especially if you have school-aged kids or know someone with school-aged kids, but we have a lot to get done. I'm also going to be sharing different recipes today for crock pot and freezer meals, just all the things to make our summers go a little bit smoother. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, the very first thing we're going to do is work on the food portion of summer struggles. And that means I need a clean and organized fridge. It's always easier to maintain it once you get it done, but life gets away from you. So today we're gonna focus on that and I'm gonna do like a full on deep clean. I'm gonna pull every single thing out of every single shelf, clean it all off, and then we'll kind of organize it back in and then we'll get into the rest of the food stuff and then we'll do the other things. Now I did just do a big grocery shop, so it's pretty full in here, but it will be good because then I can have it organized, fully stocked, and I'll exactly know where things will be. So later on in the video, I'm actually going to be addressing my cleaning routine and kind of sharing how I'm planning to stay on top of that in the summer months. But one of the things that I definitely do want to add to my cleaning routine, like my weekly cleaning routine, or I guess maybe my monthly cleaning routine will be a full on fridge clean out. I feel like I do mini fridge clean outs when we go grocery shopping. I'll maybe kind of pull a few things out on a shelf or something and kind of reorganize or wipe anything down that needs it. But I don't do full on deep cleans to my fridge like this on like a regular regular basis sometimes i'll do it twice in a month sometimes i won't do it for three or four months so it just kind of depends but i definitely know that whenever i do this and i really take the time to take everything out it just stays a lot cleaner a lot longer and so i think if i can do this once a month it really doesn't take a whole lot of time but it's going to benefit us a ton so that is getting added to my monthly to-do list
Okay, so I have the fridge fully cleaned out, wiped down everything. Next, I'm kind of debating if I want to start making some freezer meals or what, but I think first I need to get as much of the fridge items back into the fridge just so they don't, you know, lose temperature. Now, one of the things, I feel like every time I full, do a full on clean out like this, I kind of reorganize it a little bit. I do little tweaks, but every time I feel like I find something that works really pretty good. And then on the other hand, I find things that that did not work at all. So I'm just gonna start kind of making a little plan in here. I do love these acrylic organizers. I almost never get rid of them because if you pull them out of your fridge and you don't wanna use them there, you can use them in your hall closet or a medicine cabinet or like something. You can always use them somewhere else. So these have been you know, stored in our garage and I just cleaned them out and we're gonna stick them in here this time. But I kinda have to figure out exactly how I wanna reorganize this. One thing that has worked super great is these really slim containers and I've used them to hold like our favorite condiments. I don't know what it is. I just have a hard time getting away from condiments. This is awesome because I put it up here and then I just pull the whole thing out and I can grab whatever I need and then stick it back and you don't have to fight through everything. So that's been really, really helpful. Living life, no regrets. Hands up in the Now, before we get into all the food prep, I actually want to put together a few freezer meals. I got this cookbook from Amazon and it's been awesome. Everything is low carb. It's also keto, but if you're not doing keto, you can definitely enjoy these things when they're low carb. But the ones that I'm gonna share today are great for just the entire family. I feel like <laughs> they're good even if you have picky eaters. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather all of my ingredients, but freezer meals save the day so many times. Anytime we have like busy, busy times coming up that I'm aware of, I will try to make up a couple of freezer meals. You can do this in one hour, just make several up, stick them in your freezer, and then all you have to do is take them out like the morning of, pop them in the crock pot, or you can take them out like the night before if you're really ahead of things and really on top of stuff. It helps eliminate the worry of dinner every single time. So, so we are gonna plan to make chipotle chicken, cheesy chicken, Chicken, coconut lime chicken and French onion soup. These little things right here are super helpful. If you don't have them, it's not a huge deal. You can just get like a mixing bowl, take your freezer bag and kind of fold it around your bowl and it'll help things stay. But this is definitely, if you make freezer meals often, this is really helpful. I think it comes in a pack of six and I just feel like I can always make two at a time. So I don't really feel like I need six, but you just basically tuck it in here and then it holds it open for you. So I love this little tool. So for the first recipe, you need two pounds of boneless chicken breast, three chipotle peppers and adobo sauce, one cup of diced onion, eight ounces of tomato sauce, one tablespoon minced garlic, one tablespoon oil, one tablespoon monk fruit. If you're not doing low carb, I'm sure you can just substitute that for sugar. One teaspoon of dried oregano, salt and pepper, and then half a teaspoon of ground cumin and half a cup of chicken broth. The biggest thing now is just to make sure that you mix it really well so that everything does get marinated. And then a trick is make sure when you seal it, you want to try to get as much air out as you can, and then you wanna freeze it flat. All right, next for the coconut lime chicken thighs. Our family doesn't love chicken thighs, so I'm gonna substitute that for chicken breast, but you can do whatever you want but you're gonna need two pounds of chicken breast or chicken thighs, the juice of one lime, one tablespoon coconut aminos or soy sauce. If you don't have coconut aminos, they're both kind of the same thing. One can of coconut cream, salt and pepper, and then half a teaspoon of crushed shred pepper flake. And that is it for that one. Super simple. But 
not least for the French onion soup, you're going to need three sweet onions thinly sliced, half a cup of dry red wine. I'm just using whatever cooking red wine I could find. One tablespoon minced garlic, half a teaspoon dried thyme, salt and pepper, three tablespoons of butter, six cups of beef broth, and three cups of shredded Gruyere cheese. And then when you cook this, you'll add in your butter into your crock pot, then you'll add all of this, and then right at the end, you're going to top it with a bunch of Gruyere cheese. So I was going to make another freezer meal, but I forgot and I don't have quite enough chicken to make a freezer meal and dinner tonight. And I want to have dinner tonight because <laughs> I just know I'm gonna be busy until then. So I'm gonna hold on to this bag that I made earlier, but we're gonna make the cheesy chicken right now. And then another time I'll make this again because it is a good one. It's really nice in this cookbook, she tells you whether you're making it now or whether you're making it from later and if you're cooking it fresh or cooking it from frozen. So with this, you're gonna add all the ingredients all at once. So we're gonna add in half a cup of sour cream. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. Next, we're gonna do four ounces of cream cheese, which is half of this. Next, we'll need some chicken broth. So I'm adding in my water, the chicken broth concentrate, some more garlic. Add in our onion, one teaspoon of dill, one teaspoon of paprika, and one tablespoon of dried parsley. And then we'll add in our one cup of shredded cheese as well. So since I don't have a lot of time, I'm gonna do this on high for four hours, and then it'll be done just in time for dinner. All right, next up is food prep, and I want things to be like very, very simple. Like I mentioned earlier, I want them to be grab and go. So I'm actually gonna make some yogurt parfaits. This is the yummiest yogurt. Everyone absolutely loves it. You can also just get regular plain yogurt and flavor it that way if you want. But we're gonna do parfaits. My family loves parfaits, and sometimes they'll grab them from the grocery store, but it's like a couple dollars each, and it adds up really quickly. So we're gonna make our own. But one of the things that they love is you know, having the yogurt and the fruit and all the things in here, and then dumping the granola on top. So that's really fun. I do have my homemade granola right here. I've made this, I don't know, just kind of recently. So we just had this on hand. I'll link that recipe video up here for you, but it's super, super simple to make. It comes together very quickly. It's super affordable. But the thing is like, you don't want your granola just sitting on top or it'll get soggy. And so I was looking up mason jar toppers and you can get them, but they, are like six dollars each if not more for the cheap ones are like six dollars each and so i went to the store and i was like i bet these little fruit cups are about the same size and so i went to the store and i took a mason jar it fits on there exactly perfect basically my thought is i can make put the yogurt in here put the berries and whatever fruit we want and i can put some granola in these i'll just probably take this fruit out for now and put it in a little container and they can grab it in the fridge but that way these are just going to be screwed on and they have their to-go parfait. They can have this in the car. They can, you know, have this as a snack at the table, whatever, but it's just made ahead. So that's what we're going to make quick. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this today or not. It'll probably depend how many mason jars I have because I also want to make mason jar salads, but I think I'm going to make the mason jar salads in my bigger mason jars just because I like big salads. So anyway, let's go ahead and start making these. Let me know what are some of your favorite snacks to prep out for your family. I am not a person that does the same exact snacks constantly. Like I try to kind of change things up, but this is definitely one that I'm going to be repeating. These did not last very long in our house, but everybody absolutely loved them. Oh, 
also super side note but my bloom towels are back in stock my bloom towel collection it sold out in like eight hours <laughs> when we first launched and then we've just had a really hard time getting them back in stock but they are back in stock so i'll have the link and coupon code down below also i wanted to announce the winners here because i haven't bothered to send them out because they were obviously out of stock but i did a giveaway for some of you guys to win some bloom towels so i'll have the winners down in my pinned comment so go check and see if you won and i'll get your bloom towel sent out to you how delicious these look so so yummy they look so good so then yeah they can just pop these right in and then i'll just rinse this out or wash this out and i can keep reusing them now i was actually going to do the same kind of thing with like carrots and different veggies and stuff and put hummus in the top because we get a big container of hummus from costco all the time and it was going to be the same type of deal but i didn't get enough of these i just wasn't thinking fully about that part because i have enough mason jars but i don't have enough of these tops so i think i might just order some more of these next time i order groceries and then i can do the same thing but it'll just be like you know carrots sugar stuff peas whatever and a few dollops of hummus in here and it'll be a super quick on the go snack for the kids again <laughs> Okay, so I decided I'm just gonna still make up a couple veggie jars and then I'll run to the store later and get those container, the topper containers, and I can add the hummus in that really easily. But while I'm doing everything, I'm just gonna go ahead and prep some out. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be a born to run. It finally wants to stay. Wouldn't know this heart I have could host one and not hold back. There's a lot of me I wouldn't be without you. I would say a majority of the time I just chop things myself. Like I've had food processors in the past and sometimes I use them, but a majority of the time I just end up grabbing a knife and chopping things myself. But I got this chopper a while ago and I have been using it so much lately. I feel like it saved me loads and loads of time. So if you do a lot of chopping, definitely check this one out. I will link it down below. And then also, this is so random, but I wanted to share this quick little hack. I shared it over on our Kyle and Amanda vlog channel, but this is a hack that I learned from my mother in law and when you're chopping iceberg lettuce if you take it and actually slam it on the base it will make the core just slide right out and it ends up creating so much less waste feels so good to get all this prepped so i have our mason jar salads the little veggie produce dishes which you could have with ranch just by itself with hummus whatever this is the hummus that we get from costco it's like five dollars oh and i was gonna say probably the best way to do those parfait bowls 
is to go to somewhere like Sam's Club or Costco and you can get the giant Greek yogurts for like $5, but you would it's a way bigger jar than what I had. But with the salads, you can put lunch meat on it, you can put beans on it, whatever kind of protein you want or have no protein if you didn't want it. This is just from Walmart, but it's pre-cooked. I think I've shared it with you guys before, but they come in a few different flavors. This one's chicken fajita. They have like a seasoned chicken and like just rotisserie chicken, but this is awesome and it does stay good in your fridge for a while. I'm not gonna put it in with all of the veggies, but I'll have this kind of next to it. You can eat this on the go, but I really crammed in a lot of lettuce in there. So what we do is we usually will just dump it into like a big bowl and dress it how you want with whatever dressing you want, add whatever proteins or toppings you want, but it's so, so simple. We are almost finished with the food portion of the summer struggles and then we'll be moving on to the other two big struggles that happened during summer but i went ahead and prepped out the rest of our produce and then put that into one of my very favorite produce containers this little four quadrant one has been amazing we've had it for years and i love it so much but look at that before and after in our fridge it's just amazing and every time i do this it just feels so much better and our entire family eats a lot a lot healthier Okay, so we have the food portion <laughs> of summer prep figured out. I feel like that's the biggest part and that's definitely the most time consuming part. But today we are going to do some fun stuff. I'm gonna make like an I'm bored jar, which is why I have all these popsicle sticks. And this is just an old, actually it's a vase, but it was like a $3 vase years and years ago from I think the Target dollar spot. It has little bees on it. Anyway, random, it doesn't matter. But grab some popsicle sticks and grab whatever jar or vase you have. You can literally even use like an old pasta sauce jar, just something to kind of contain them. I don't know how many times my kids come up to me, even on weekends, if we don't have a thousand things to do, like sports and whatever. But on the moments that we don't, I feel like our kids are always like, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. I don't wanna just send them to the TV or whatever electronics. And so I can come up with a few things off the top of my head, but growing up, I feel like we always were just outside doing things or I don't know. I think I was bored also, but I found fun things to do when I was bored when I was a kid. And I think that's kind of how it was for a lot of us. I'm going to help myself out and help my kids out by not being bored, by having some immediate thoughts of and ideas of like what they can do when they are bored. So I spent the last, I mean, just like randomly over the last week, kind of thinking different options, different ideas. And I have like a whole list here on my phone. And if you have any ideas for adding to an I'm bored jar, that's I'm gonna call it then comment down below and let me know but I do feel like these are pretty well-rounded of course the first one on my list has to be read a book some of these are creative others not so much but it'll be something I'm literally just writing them with a sharpie marker nothing fancy at all and then it's just kind of random they can pull them out whenever they're ready I haven't been here in a while And it takes me back Watch the spinning clothes I was scared and all alone Counting every ceiling tile At the laundromat Lost but here I go I might need a miracle I got big dreams In a small bank account But somehow I always figure it Okay, so a few of the things that I did want to mention 
details about. My kids do not keep a diary or a journal really. They have on and off, some of them have like in the past, but not regularly. But I thought that would be so fun to like go back and read a summer journal. So even if they're not writing it all the time or if they're not writing in it a whole lot, just like a sentence or two, like that could be really fun for them to look back on. So that's why I specifically wrote summer journal. I wrote ice cream ball and that just meant like make ice cream, but we have one of those balls that you can kick around or bounce around on the trampoline. You just add in, I have to find the recipe again, but it's like milk and sugar and like just the different stuff and then you put this like ice and rock salt on the outside and then it just makes it and the boys love it it's so fun oh like a backyard or living room camp out I've shared this for years but we have like a pop-up tent I actually think it might have ripped finally after having it for five or six years but the pop-up tents you literally unfold them and they pop up and it's perfect and then to fold them you kind of I don't know it's hard to <laughs> explain how to fold them back up but once you get it it's easy and it's like literally tear down and set up is within you know 10 seconds obviously everybody knows what hide and seek is but something that we have done with our kids since they were really really little is flashlight hide and seek now this has to be done at night you turn off all the lights in the house and everybody can play hide and seek together. And it's so much fun because you can hide in places you normally couldn't get away with because it's dark. So you have to like shine your light on people too. So the kids love that. This will really only work if you have a little bit older kids, depending on kind of what age you let them start cooking. But Luke definitely cooks. Liam is getting into cooking and Noah will have him cook if he has someone helping him. But this is something that we actually had gotten Luke for Christmas. It's just how to cook book teens, but it's nice because it's a lot of basics. Like it's a lot of basic recipes. He's made dinner for us before. He's found breakfast to make. Like <laughs> the book is well loved. It will take a little time, which is good if they're bored. And it's something that actually helps them out. Like they're able to learn from it. And after time they can know how to make these recipes on their own. So that is all I have to say <laughs> about that list. But let me know, like I said, if you have any other ideas that I didn't share. I know there's a thousand other things to do, but I just thought these are really fun things. And these are more like adult hands-off things that if I'm in the middle of working or something, they can still be entertaining themselves. And this just gives them a little head start on different ideas and they can pull them out. Nope, I don't wanna make a snack. Oh yeah, I will play a board game. I don't know, pretty fun. So now the boredom issue is, I don't know if solved. I don't know if I'll go as far as to say it's solved, but it's definitely, in the right direction. Okay, now the final summer struggle that I feel is very prevalent in our home during the summer is routines, or I should say the lack of routines because during the school year, we have a lot of good routines set in place. We have a fairly strict bedtime. We have like a certain time of the morning that we wake up. We have certain routines and things that we do in the morning. I have my nighttime cleaning routine. It gets a little chaotic during football season, but most of the time, you know, we have like a nightly pickup routine. We just have these routines set in place and it's nice because we are not really really strict on a lot of things but because we do have certain routines that we have it kind of keeps structure in the house a lot of the time and then the rest of the time is free time but it's it's just nice to have that but i do feel like in the summer we get very lax and with that you lose a lot of other routines and so it's just been a struggle for us but not this summer i'm gonna fix that because i have two different boards one for me one for the kids and and it's going to be so, so helpful. So this one is actually a custom board and it's like a, I don't know if they call it like a habit tracker or something like that, but I customized it. Now they kept it really simple. There's only five sections for each kid. I don't wanna overdo this where it's like, you have 20 things you need to get done every day. Although that might be the most ideal in some cases, it's not realistic, so it's not gonna happen. Instead of getting 20 things done, you're gonna get done zero. So I wanna like really be picky on what I'm putting on here. My goal for this is to put this up where they can see and you have to get this checked off before something you know like before you turn on any electronics for the day these things need to get checked off or maybe i'll have something like 
you know, you need to do these three things in the morning and then these last two are before you go to bed or something like that. I'm not really sure exactly. I'll figure that out as we go, but I thought that was so cool. And I'm sure they have ones that aren't customized, but because I kept this so general, this is something that we can use in the summer and then I can reset it and it can be used in the fall during the school year. Like it'll be so useful all the time. So this one is actually just magnetic. So I'm gonna see if I can just put this right on our fridge. But I think because this is just clear and it has like the white lettering, it's not anything that's gonna be super noticeable. So let's stick this on the fridge, see how that looks. And then we'll put up the kids have a tracker. I can't tell, I can't tell, I can't tell. And I hate, and I wake up. Traffic and get it by all of my problems at once. Heavy weight in my chest, I send me toss. But I got new friends I can call when I need a pick me up. I got big dreams and a little self doubt. But somehow I always figure it out. I'm so glad. This is like the Butler Pantry area, so here is our pantry right here. This is our smart calendar. I don't know what you call it. Kyle got it for me for Christmas, like two, not this last Christmas, but I think the Christmas before. And it syncs with our phone, so it's nice. Like everything's just on here. Now, I had set these up for Kyle and I. This is Kyle's, this one's mine, and it's like a to-do list, but we just don't use these. Like we always are using our phones or our little tablets, um, like our little planners and things on our desk. And so we don't actually use these. So these are just command stripped up, which is why I love using command strips because now I'm ready to take them down and there's no damage to the wall. This is just Velcro command strips, which these are really nice too, especially if you're trying to change picture frames or anything because then you can pull it down, change it out and stick it back up without having to do this, but I'm not putting them back up. So I'm just pulling these all off. And then this is where I think I'm gonna put the boys habit tracker because like they're always gonna go in the pantry one of the first things in the morning. So I think this is gonna be a spot that they'll see it and just kind of like a good workspace station. I'll probably add to this over time, but for now this, this will be a good start. Okay, so after holding this up in this area, I think I am going to want to do something a little bit extra in here, but because I do want to add something to this area and I don't know exactly what I wanna do, I'm not going to actually drill it into the wall, but instead I'm going to use command strips for now and I'll just hold on to these pieces and I'll add that in later once I get it all kind of sorted out. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope that this video is very helpful for you, very inspiring, and I hope that you got some new ideas, learned some new hacks, and just things that can kind of make your summer go a little bit more how you envision it going. But over on the right side of the screen, I'm actually going to link one of my favorite homemaking videos. This one is packed with so many different recipes that you are going to love. So you can go ahead and watch that next, and I will see you right back here next week for a brand new video. Bye guys.